Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be unboxing, reviewing, and checking out some of the footage from my newest piece of tech. This is the Sony Handycam FDR-AX53 camcorder. I read and watched plenty of reviews before coming to the conclusion that this is one of the best handheld camcorders on the market. What's nice about it is it films in 4K and it also films in 1080p up to 120 frames per second. When filming in 4K, it has up to 30 times optical zoom and when filming in 4, uh, 1080p, it has up to 40 times optical zoom. Also, it can take 16.6 megapixel still image recordings or pictures, so that's pretty awesome as well. I also uh, saw a review that the 16.6 megapixels that this camera has is actually much larger megapixels to give it uh, a lot better crystal clear images. Now this camera here retails in Canada for $1,049.95. You can see this sticker on this box. It's a Geek Squad certified open box. I actually saved $150 off that SRP and picked it up for $899.95. But this thing has been inspected and it's pretty much good as new. Now in the United States, it's going to retail for a bit cheaper, $800, obviously due to the exchange rate. So we're going to open up this thing and see what's inside and take a look at the actual camera. Right on the top here, it looks like we have some instruction manuals, which uh, will come in handy, I guess, maybe later on when I start tinkering with some of the settings. Also a limited warranty, which I should definitely get on filling out okay and then we can open this up and reveal some of the contents of the box of course in the back here we have all our cables so we have an HDMI cable we have uh, one part of the charging cable the larger part of the charging cable and then finally we have I think it's just like a USB for charging the camera Push that stuff aside here, right here in this crevice. I bet you is the battery. Yep, that is the battery. So in here, we'll pull this battery out. As you can see, even though I bought this as an open box, it pretty much looks brand spanking new, if you ask me. So here's the camcorder itself. Looking uh, actually pretty big, pretty decent size, but that's to be expected when filming in 4k with that kind of optical zoom so i really don't mind the size as long as it can fit in one hand so here it is you can see the size of it it's fairly decent size but it'll fit in one hand which is nice we can flip open the screen here which reveals the three inch lcd monitor we also have the viewfinder here which won't get used very often i don't think also inside here we have the memory card slot. This does not have built-in memory, so you'll have to uh, I'll have to get a memory card and insert it into there. But memory memory cards are fairly cheap. There's the HDMI out, so I'm going to be able to use that HDMI cable that they provided and plug it in there and stream it straight to my TV or computer or device that way. It's not like I'm going to have to transfer it to a computer to uh, see it on a larger screen. Looks like there's a night shot button there, the power button. Uh, up here we have our optical zoom, W and T, also a, a photo button if you want to uh, snap a quick photo. Here we have the mic that's built into the camera. That's a 5.1 surround mic. I think it has some Dolby Digital, I see a Dolby Digital 5.1 creator there too. So I must have fairly decent uh, audio pickup. But if it doesn't, or if you're looking for better audio pickup, it looks like there's a, a multi uh, headphone jack right here for a mic. And that's you can plug in a mic there, either a lapel mic or a Rode mic, like the one we're using now. And there's where you plug in the power. And then once you plug in your Rode mic or your external mic, you can actually just clip it on right here so you can attach it. So you can have it forward facing or back facing towards uh, the photographer whatever you like. So that's a pretty neat feature. I really like that. Then down here, there's actually another headphone jack for your standard headphones. Must be for listening to uh, listening to the footage that you recorded. And then down here, there's a standard uh, screw bit piece so that you can attach this to any standard 
tripod. Looks pretty clean and tidy if you ask me. There's also one button here which is called the manual button. And then uh, looking at the front of the camera, it's got a shutter that protects the, uh, the glass as well. Let's uh, see if this battery is charged. I'm curious. I literally don't know. Usually I like to charge my batteries in full, but let's give it a whirl. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, it's definitely charged. So there we go. I felt that lens uh, moving around there. Is that something that's really unique about this camera? Let me just pull it around here. The lens inside, or I think it's called a lens or whatever, does the recording there. I don't know if you can see, but you can see how it's moving around. See how crazy that is? Well, that's because it's almost like a gimbal in there. And it's uh, for the camera's stabilization. Look at it. So as you move it around, it's doing its best job to keep it stable. I heard that this camera has absolutely phenomenal uh, stabilization, like absolutely just like state of the art. And also this uh, screen is going to flip here so you can see me. Hi, there's me talking to my GoPro with my uh, Rode mic. So here we go. Here goes the footage test for this Sony FDR AX53 camcorder. We're filming at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Just a little easier to manage than 4K. And look at the zoom on this camera. Not only that, but the autofocus is absolutely tremendous. And for it to be staying this stabilized, this zoomed in, is absolutely incredible. Because I am not using a tripod right now. And what's really neat is the autofocus. I was just focused on these minifigures below the Disney castle. And if I move to a closer subject, like the Grand Emporium right here, it's going to autofocus onto the main subject that's in the video. Wow, that's pretty cool. And we'll go back here, go to the roller coaster. I'm pretty amazed with the uh, quality of the images when it zoomed in that far as well. And what's really neat is the way the camcorder adapts because we were just zoomed in and now we can go up close to a structure here such as the brick bank and it's instantly going to switch to macro so that you can get right up close to all the details of everything. This is my first time playing with a, a camcorder of this quality and I am simply impressed. I'm used to using a GoPro and this is a huge step up from a GoPro. Oh, there's uh, Slime Vankman, got in a little too close on him there. But look, you can even see the dust on the Ghostbusters HQ, which isn't the best. I'll have to dust that. <laughs> And then right over here we have the Millennium Falcon. Let's see if we can read its UCS specifications plate. We definitely can. You can see a little bit of shake. That's just because my arm isn't 100% steady. So this camera has absolutely amazing zoom and amazing autofocus, especially when it comes to a macro um, sort of a macro shot, it'll instantly adjust to whatever you need. I'm going to try a thing here. I'm going to turn off the lights and see how it does in the dark. Okay, not bad. It's a little darker. Because there is this little button on the side here that says night shot. And I'm curious, so let's turn off the lights. Okay, so that's not night shot. You can see the glow in the dark elements there. Turning on night shot now, whoa. Holy cow, this thing can film in the dark. 
Wow. And not only can it film in the dark, it can zoom in the dark. And focus in the same sense of when uh, we were in the light. Holy cow, I'm walking around in this room in the dark right now. I'm just 100% going off the screen here on the uh, the two inch monitor on the, oh, actually, sorry, three inch monitor here on the Sony FDR AX53. That is amazing. I've turned the lights back on and you can see the screen is green. That's because I still have it on a night shot setting. So I'll just take that setting off and we'll go back to normal here. That is an incredible feature for filming at night. It's almost like night vision. Wow.